In addition to subscribing to the ticket, uh, you can come over here to the button marked Send Reminder, and this is another little useful piece of functionality that Active Collab has. Um, it's a way to kind of nudge uh, either your coworkers involved in the project with you or any of the engineers here at AIS Solutions Group. Um, if you click on Send Reminder, you'll have a, a list of options here uh, that you can send a little note to. Uh, assignees are people that are assigned to the ticket already. Subscribers are people that are subscribed to the ticket options as we discussed before. Um, people involved in the discussion are people that have commented on the ticket. Or you can select a user from the drop down list of anyone involved with the project. And we'll type a comment like, hey, what is going on with this ticket? And then we'll click submit and that will be sent to everyone on the list. In this case, it's just me. Uh, but this is just um, a way to discreetly kind of tap someone on the shoulder and say, hey, what's the status of this um, without, uh, you know, without interrupting their workflow. Okay, now that we're subscribed uh, to this ticket, our Finish Active Collab video ticket, um, we can look at some of the underlying tasks that go into completing this ticket. Um, you'll see here the task menu. Uh, we have record voiceover, which is what I'm hopefully doing right now. Uh, you'll see that I'm responsible. It's theoretically due tomorrow. Um, there's another task here called demonstrate features, also, which hopefully I'm doing an okay job at. Um, again, I'm responsible and it's due tomorrow. Um, as these tasks are completed, um, your AI Solutions Group engineers will come in here and click these checkboxes, and these guys will be archived uh, for your viewing. Um, what you can also do, if you see the star icon next to a task, you can check that. It will flag it for our attention, uh, mark it as something that's very important to you, and it also causes it to show up under the starred icon on the main dashboard that we saw earlier. So if we go back up here, go back to our dashboard, and here we go. Uh, when someone first logs in the system, they'll see that they have one starred object. They can click on it and you'll see it's the record voiceover task that we just starred and we'll click on it here just to go right back to it and that's just a way like I said to call our attention to something that you feel is is extra important uh, so we'll tick that off for now um, finally uh, underneath uh, each ticket is a list of running comments uh, and this is available to facilitate dialogue uh, related specifically to this ticket uh, for example, someone said, this is a great video. Someone else said, thank you. Is there anything else you'd like to see? Um, we can say, uh, yes, I'd like to know how much longer this video is going to run. Uh, and I don't have the answer to that, but if I did, I could comment in there as well. Um, click comment when you're finished, and you'll see that your comment shows up here. And that's just a way to keep everybody involved in the project on the same page uh, and informed. Okay, now that you know your way around the ticketing interface, um, let's get down to the real business of actually submitting a new ticket. Um, if you'll recall from earlier, uh, tickets are the second of our uh, three project management architecture items, uh, the first being milestones, the second being tickets, and the third being tasks underneath the tickets. Uh, anytime that you have uh, a situation arise where you need to request further work from us, um, or maybe clarify an issue, or, uh, or you've identified a situation that needs troubleshooting, um, these are all instances where you would want to open a new ticket underneath your project. Um, to do this, um, choose a milestone that the ticket is going to be under. Uh, and in this case, we'll go to our Milestone tab. Uh, we only have one right now. It's Phase 1 Project Kickoff. We'll click that. Here you'll see a list of things you can add to your milestone. Uh, we'll go to Ticket. And we will call it uh, Example Ticket. Not terribly creative, but gets the job done. Uh, this is a new work item. Okay, what you're going to do is come over here, category, um, you can mark general if you like, or you can leave it alone, uh, that's not really defined at this point. Uh, milestone, uh, you want to associate it with the correct milestone, in this case we only have one. Uh, priority, if it's an emergency, you probably want to mark highest, uh, if it's something that we can get to in a business day or two, uh, you can mark normal. Tags are similar to tags on a blog, uh, they're used for organization and indexing purposes so you can uh, mark those or not as you see fit. Uh, you definitely want to put a due date, give us an idea of, of when you need your new ticket taken care of. We're going to mark tomorrow. Um, 
you want to make sure you assign the ticket to someone. Uh, in this case, um, you'll see the available users menu is myself uh, from AIS Solutions Group and the person that we're logged in as right now, AIS Client. So we're going to assign it to an engineer, which is me. Uh, click OK, and you'll see my name pop up here. Uh, if you need to make any file attachments, you can browse to them here and click Submit. And you will see your ticket uh, pop up here. And this is all the information that we looked at previously. And also by default, if you created the ticket, you're already subscribed to it. So you can go ahead and start commenting uh, or doing what you need to do. And if you come back up to the tickets menu here, uh, you can see this is our example ticket here that we just created. Okay, so we've covered milestones and tickets. Um, the third and final tier in our three-tier project management architecture is uh, the tasks underneath each ticket. Um, now, as a customer of AI Solutions Group, uh, you will normally not uh, be responsible for assigning tasks to a ticket. Uh, what happens is you guys will submit a ticket, uh, our engineers will take a look at it and see um, what exactly needs to be done, and then they will generate tasks underneath each ticket uh, to, to give themselves and you a roadmap uh, to the completion of that ticket.